people, my beautiful family. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mercy and I'm the queen of positivity. Yes, can assurance covers you that this recipe is going to work. Now you're going to be doing this 12 o'clock. If you find out that you are having moving objects, if you find out that you are having things moving inside your system, you don't understand. You are sick. You have been sick. Even you, you are just drying. You don't know the cause of your sickness. You have been monitored. You have been followed. You have been attacked. This is for those of them facing serious attack at night. You'll be doing this for good seven to 14 days. Seven to 14 days. So that you will overcome totally. You will overcome your enemy totally. And when is the best to hit? 12 a.m. 12, between 12 to 1 a.m. is the best time to hit. Now you're going to be needing used broom. Used broom. You're going to be needing used broom used and unused broom used and unused broom because it's too work if you have unused broom fine if you have used broom fine because that used broom are going to wash it you will wash it very clean wash it very clean because the water you're going to drink it but if you want to buy new broom fine but it does not matter whether it's new or old. Broom is broom in this assignment. See, you're going to get this broom like this. You're going to put this broom in a bucket of water. In a bucket of water. That can swallow at least this broom. Like this way, the way it is like this. You are going to reach some 35 in that water. Reach some 35 in that water. Read it from one to the end. Okay. Read as our chapter 8. Verse 9 to 10. Isaiah 8, 9 to 10. Are they mentioned them all? Even if I don't type them again. Read Psalm 91 in this water. Read Nahum chapter 1, 7 to 9. Nahum chapter 1, 7 to 9. Read Matthew 15, verse 13. Matthew 15, verse 13. I'm going to type all this in the description box. Inside that water. Pray and tell God. As I bathe with this water. At this particular time of the day. Night. Anything you never planted in my body. Let this broom begin to use this broom. To sweep my inner system and outside system. Let this broom become the weapons of war. To do cleansing, sorrow cleansing in me. The day time my womb, the day time me down, let this broom be this instrument to be used. To, to dust me, dust me, remove, all, remove spiritual man. Remove moving objects, remove ants, remove cobwebs, remove uh, crocroach, remove pussycat, remove old woman look, remove old man look out of my body. All right? You're going to pray your desire inside that water. When you are done praying your desire, you cover that water. When you cover this water, please put that bucket of water outside where there is sun at least where there is even if there is no sun shall put the water 
for some hours. Let the water and the psalm and the prayers and the broom work together to bring out that solid answer that you are looking for. When it is 12 in the night, hmm? you see that broom. Bring out that water of the broom. Take seven seeds of alligator pepper. Seven seeds of alligator pepper. Pray on it and chew it on your mouth. Tell the alligator pepper what you are commanding to leave you. After you have chewed the alligator pepper, carry the water you use in soaking this broom. One glass and drink. Drink it with strength, with faith, and with power. Mm? Drink it all with faith and power. Carry this broom out of that bucket. Is it barrenness? Are you facing hotness of the womb? Are you facing warm? They say warm is warm. Is it, is, 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 is it fire broad? Or is it cobwebs or hatred? You see this broom like this. You hit the head. You begin to sweep your tummy. You begin to sweep yourself. Bah. You sweep yourself from head to toe. You begin to sweep out. You begin to sweep out everything in your body. From your back, your waist, your leg, your hand. You sweep out. Many of you. Every anointing will carry you. What I'm seeing. Jesus. Hmm. There is somebody, the head you are carrying is not your head. They remove your original head. And they put another one. Mm -hmm. They put another one. No, it's not that the head is not your head. Your face is not your face. Your original face is in the coven. And they are using that your face to attack your husband. You are a woman. You are you, you are happily married. You were happily married before. All of a sudden, things just start changing. Your husband just starts seeing you as a stranger. Okay? Your real face is in the coven. Another woman is carrying your face to, to see your husband. To present to your husband. And in a way that is not balanced. If you sweep that face at that time, it's carrying your face. Fire will catch that place. It will return your face with fire. There's another one. They put something in your anus that you don't have a nyash. You know nyash to sit and in marriage. You are a woman. You don't have nyash to sit. You know, now waste. Now we take the sedan for all spare house. Gagam. You, you know, get waste to sit down. No? They put something in your, your animals. And so at this thing, they, you know, go sit down for husband's house. And instead, you go move, you go to the road. You'll be running like a little cabo. You will roll around. You are rolling around. You go wipe yourself. That's where the yash go come out. Hmm. This one, a broom of justice, so. Part two. No, I don't do broom of justice since but then I last year. And this one a broom of justice part two. You go sweep all the problem, all the headache of year 2021. You go sweep all the suffer. You go they sweep yourself. You go sweep. I'm not gonna say maybe you use seven broom because if you they use seven broom, you go break, you go use bunch, you go sweep yourself, you go day holy go sweep my life. Oh God, use your broom. Is there in the Bible? Use your broom to sweep me, sweep my life, sweep out every problem that I'm be carrying up and down. After you have done sweeping yourself, prophetically, go stark naked, no clothes, no bra, no pan, no necklace, no wig, nothing. If you plant and no wala, hit the head, pa pa pa. You sweep and finish. After that, you see that water. Just add that water into a bathing water. Carry salt, cooking salt, white salt, put inside. Just rinse some 29. 
he said, the king shall have joy in you, for thou hast granted her desire. Thou hast not withhold the request of her lip. Psalm 29. Mami Kabos. Zekebos Shonturi. Psalm 29. Is what we're going to read inside that water with your soul. Eh? Jesus. There's a man. Money doesn't stay in your hand. Reason there's a time you traveled to a village, you gave your uncle a money, and that's your uncle belongs to or bony society. You know he belongs to society, but you didn't think like that. He took your money. You went and tabled it in the society and said you can never be richer than him since then. Money enter, money go out. Money enter, money they enter, but you know they stay. You know, get your to sit down. When you do this, fire will burn them. Fire will burn them in their kingdom. Okay, you will reach Psalm 29 with salt in that water. Just take part of that bottle of the broom Ask so to reach Psalm 29, and that time you will tell you will be thanking God that I will testify as I take my bath now. I'm gonna testify because he said the king shall have joy in you, for thou has granted her request, thou have given her the desires of her heart, heart that has no withhold the request of her mouth. So, okay, you just turn Psalm 29. Yes, you will just pour the water in yourself and tell God, I will testify. I will testify. I will testify. You just pour the water, pour the water all over your body, all over your body. My darling, you go and sleep. He does not stop you not to sleep with your partner. So don't say, Messi has started him bow. <laughs> this one <laughs> does not stop you not to sleep with your partner. Go and sleep with your partner. If you are married, if you are not married, carry your blanket and cover. When the enemy come to come closer to you, they will see fire. They will see they will see fire because you abuse their weapon again as your as your own weapon of war. Broom. You see this broom is number one witchcraft weapon of operation. You see this broom is their number one weapon. So you have used their weapon as your own weapon. And you see that they will not have strength again. I will still bring more on this broom for you. I will bring more to, for you to learn on this broom. This is where I want to stop at this time. Please, if you find this interested, share this video to those your friends and sisters and brothers that are complaining too much let them not cross to 2022 without doing something positive for themselves for them to experience a better 2022 by special grace of god thank you for watching bye